A stitch that combines what we've learned in running stitch and also in back stitch is called long stitch. Here at Woolly Mammoth, we look at long stitch as a stitch that can fill quite a lot of an area quickly, but also adds a really exciting dimension. Pull through. Some people will say that all of your long stitches need to be the same length, and that's absolutely fine. You can also do your long stitches at different lengths to add texture, and that's called variegated long stitch. In there. One, two, three, I want about four, you know, so I've got three holes in the middle. And then I'm going to come underneath and go across four. See how automatically we've got quite a lot of ground that's been covered on the canvas, but we're also adding texture. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to do a short stitch. I'm going to go back on myself. Long stitch is really great. It's good to do two rows at once so that then you can vary the lengths of it or you can make sure that your lengths are exactly the same. Here we go. See how we're using back stitch? But we're also using running stitch. It's a really lovely stitch, especially if you're thinking about the texture of a wall, say for example of brick. Or if you're thinking about the texture of the sky, because when you think about the sky, it's never really all the same blue, is it? It's never really, like grass is never always the same green. So what you can do with long stitch is stitch away, leaving spaces so that you can bring in different colors to create a really lovely textured piece. What I really like about long stitch is that you can go forward and back. It doesn't really matter which way you're going. So it's a great stitch. If you want to cover the area quickly, but you also want to add texture. I'm going along here. See how quick it is to fill in a whole area. I've finished now. Turn it over, weave underneath. Long stitch.